and welcome to another episode of QTV Sports. I'm Brooke Maloney and I'm here with Brett, Julie, and Brad of the Queen's Cross Country team. How are you guys doing today? Uh, pretty good, thanks. Great. Pretty well. <laughs> Great. Um, so how long have you guys been into cross country skiing for? Uh, I've done it since, uh, since I was a little kid. I grew up doing it with my family, so oh, wow. probably six years old or so. I'm the same with Brett. Yeah, I've done it since I was about 10 years old or so. Okay, so none of you are new to the sport. <laughs> um, so how did you end up getting involved with Queens, with the Queens team? Uh, I, think, I think all of us raced in high school, actually. I, I raced in high school, and, uh, and as well as Brad and Julie, you raced in, uh, with a club as well in Ottawa, right? So, so yeah, we, that kind of led us into wanting to do a lot more racing when, when we uh, went to university. So. so how far are you guys into your season so far this year? Uh, well, we just had our first race last weekend, actually, in North Bay. is the first university invitational. And, uh, but other than that, we've had uh, a few training camps in, around Collingwood area and uh, one planned for Ottawa. So just, uh, yeah, only pretty early in the season so far. And Julie, I heard you had a pretty good result. Uh, how did you do last week? Oh, thank you. I came 10th in the skate and 5th in the classic, so I was really happy with that. So for those of us who don't know, what's the classic and what's the skate? Uh, Brett, do you want to take this one? Uh, freestyle or skate skiing is when you're, it's almost like hockey, you're gliding outwards and you're skiing like back and forth like this. And that's usually a bit faster than classical skiing as well. Do you need different types of skis for that or do you use the same set? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're different types of skis so everyone will have a pair of race, a pair of like skate skis and classic skis. For, so. Oh wow, so sounds like an expensive sport. <laughs> so what program are you guys in at Queen's? Uh, I'm in third year mechanical engineering. I'm in the masters of OT. What is OT? Um, occupational therapy. Okay, very cool. And yourself? I'm in second year civil engineering. So obviously all the teams at Queens have coaching staff. Um, how do you guys feel about the coaching staff of the cross country team? Um, well, it's a student run team. So right now our coach is Haley Robinson and she's in fourth year. Um, and actually my sister used to be the coach when I was in first year and my sister was in third year. She coached me for two years. So it's a pretty fun team because we're all on the same page of we know that we have to do schoolwork, but we also have a good time and ski. We've had a bit of an unfortunate um, situation with the uh, weather this winter. It's been pretty mild. Um, so how does that affect your season? Uh, well, we do a lot of dry land training, a lot of running, unfortunately. Usually we can uh, get out skiing, go to the Gatineau sometimes in Ottawa, but uh, it's also affected us. We, our race this weekend actually got canceled, but um, we do a lot of traveling to where there is snow, so that, that helps out. Um, and so what do your typical practices consist of? Uh, we usually practice about six times a week. We do two mornings in the weight room downstairs, and then about four times we, when we have snow, we go to City Park and train around the track there that we make ourselves, or we go for a run up to Fort Henry Hill on the cross country track there when there's no snow. Yeah, okay, well, so pretty big time commitment. Um, so that's what you guys do physically. Uh, do you have any uh, particular mental sort of things that you do before a race to sort of get prepared? Uh, yeah, everyone has their own little mental mental uh, preparation they do. You know, we do there is we go down a day early to do pre ski of the course and everything. But uh, I think everyone has their own thing that they that they do to get themselves psyched up for it. So, is there anything different? Brett's usually pretty good at making the team uh, pretty excited for races. He's has his pretty good pep talks before races, and he's, yeah, so. So you're the designator uh, pep talk giver? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do you guys typically work towards? Like, how does how is your uh, season structured? What are you guys working towards? Uh, well, we have, uh, we go to a couple different different races, try to try to hit the same races at other, other universities, try to see some other different competitions throughout the year. So. Uh, Next weekend we're hitting up Eastern Canadians, so that's uh, where we'll see some really good competition, some national team uh, caliber guys and everything. And uh, and then our culminating event is OUAs, which is in Sudbury this year, and so that's uh, that's the big event. And then we send a few guys uh, are actually going to nationals this year in in Mont Saint Anne. So. Wow, well, and that's in New York. In Mont Saint Anne, actually in Quebec. Oh. So. Very cool. Um, so after university, do you guys have any plans to take this any farther? Do you have any Olympic dreams or anything? <laughs> um, no, I don't have any Olympic dreams, but I feel like this is a sport that you can continue on well into your old age. Like, 
Brett was telling me the other weekend, or wait, who was telling me? That their grandparents were still skiing. Maybe it wasn't in this car. Sorry, that was, that was really bad. That was, that was a different car, yeah. Um, yeah, you can continue in your old age, so. Yeah. Very cool. So you all plan on continuing, maybe? Yeah, def definitely going to ski when I'm older, for sure. I, definitely going to be something I want to do for the rest of my life.